Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to read the values from the form in the controller or how to pass the values from view to the controller. Now in my form I have set the action as my action submit which is present in the home controller. That means if I submit it should come to this action method. I'll execute this, say F12. Submit. So it is coming to my action submit. F5. So while coming to this method, it is carrying the value in form data because because it is of type post. If I change the type from post to get it should carry the value in the query string that we saw already in our earlier video. Say submit. Say 5. Now you can observe that the values are in query string. <coughs> so why is that I am repeating the same thing? Because I want you to understand that whenever you are Hitting this action method, it has values with it. So, how do I read that value in this method? There are three ways of reading those values. Now, what are those? The three ways are here. First is, have the data passed as parameter to your action method. You can read the data with the help of parameters and the second way is extracting it from a set of context object. Second method is using context object. First method is parameters. Second method is context object and the third method is model binding. You might be worrying that I have started with controller and then move to view and I haven't spoken about model yet. Yes, once the time comes, once we see the necessity of model, at that time I'm going to introduce model. So as of now, let us not worry about model. In this video, I'm going to show you the parameters method. It is very simple. As we know that in the query string, it is passing two parameters. What are those? n underscore name and n underscore age and here I will say the first parameter is of type string so I will say string n underscore name and the second parameter is of type int so I will say int n underscore age do remember that this parameter name should have the same spellings what we have declared in the form. They should spell out same. Now I am going to execute it. Here I get the form. Now I will say F12. I will just pass the parameters. Say submit. We are coming to this my action submit method or this action. Now let us check the values. N name contains Manzoor. Right click and I'll say quick watch or add watch. You can see that N name contains the value Manzoor and add watch n age contains the value 29 that means what we are reading the values or we are trying to access the values of the fields what we have on the form in our controller this is the first way of accessing the values that is nothing but parameterized way all the parameters if i have 10 parameters i should list it out here 
you might be wondering what if the type of request is post let us see if the type of request is post whether it works in the same way or do we need to do something else for that yes if the type of request is of post even then it is working in the same way so parameterized method remains same for both kind of request whether it is of type get or post now as we are able to read the values then i don't think it is a big deal to store them in the database that we have with us that is tbl underscore my table which contains id name and age id is an auto incremented column name and age we are getting from the parameter and we can easily insert it into this table using any of the earlier methods that we learned we you can use adio.net normal methods like data reader or data set connected or disconnected architecture or you can also go for entity framework now i am going to use entity framework here i'll simply right click i'll say add new item i'll go for data i'll say add adio.net entity data model and i'll name it as my model say add all these things we saw in our earlier video generate from database i want to generate a model from the database and the database is same and the connection string name is organization entities as a next i'm going to select that particular table that is my table i'll say finish so we got edmx file i'll go for this designer file cs as we know that we need to use this namespace wherever i want i'll copy this namespace and i need to create the object of this context class organization entities so here i'll say using namespace and here i'll create the object of that context class before we proceed for that let me build it so that should able to identify the things so i get organization entities i'll say oe equals to new organization entities what is that i need to do i need to create the object of tbl underscore my tbl obj equals to new my tbl and i need to set the values should say obj dot id is auto incremented so i need not to pass the value name equals to n underscore name and obj dot age equals to n underscore age now my object is ready i should say oe dot add to my table and i need to pass the object that is obj as you know very well finally we need to say oe dot save changes that's it this should insert the data to your database i'll simply remove this breakpoint and i'm going to execute it now i'll say submit 
it is performing the insert operation i have submitted successfully now if i go back to the database i should see that record show table data yes i get the record that's it this is very simple now you can create an application you have the complete form flow that is generating the form reading the values inserting them into the database now in our next video we will see how to access the data with the help of context object that is the other way of accessing the data from the controller what we have on view that's it for this thank you very much